What is up everybody? This is Ronnie from Canva. Welcome to another tutorial. This week, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect email header with Canva, of course. Let's imagine you are the owner of a cupcake store and you need to promote your cupcakes with your new email. So if you're ready for this, let's design it in Canva. All right, guys, so for an email header, we have the choice. We can either start from the search bar right here and type in email, for example. Canva will suggest a duct type for the email headers, okay, 600 by 200 pixels. So we could start with this, or if you want your uh, document to be a little bit more high resolution to make sure everything is super crisp inside of it, you can simply double these dimensions. So that would be 1200 by 400, but I'm good with these dimensions. So we are going to start this project from scratch. Okay, because I have my little uh, brand color here. So I have that here in a note. So my brand color is this. I'm going to use that to create my background color. Okay, so I click on the background, click on the color button here, and new color. I'm going to create a new color by pasting my hex code. And that is this blue color right here. All right, so now I have a nice base for my email header. I need to start designing it. Okay, so I have this idea of having an image here and then my call to action or my main uh, with some little bit of fantasies, okay? So since I am selling these delicious cupcakes, I want to create a header that gives people a good reason, like, you know, like this nice urge to go bite on a juicy and delicious a cupcake. So for that, I need a perfect photo. So I'm going to start by finding the container for my photo. Okay, so for that, elements tab, <clears throat> as always, and then I will go search into my frames. And I want the photo to be about coming up to here. So that would be one third, a little bit less than one third of this uh, space available here. So let me find, I'm going to go for this one and I will make it bigger, about this size. And I don't want to see any blue on the left side, so I'm going to search for the perfect positioning where I don't see any blue on this side, but I like this shape right here, which is irregular on the other side. So I'm gonna go for that, maybe a little bit less. Okay, next I need a cupcake photo. So I'm switching back to my photo tab right here and I'm gonna search for cupcake hands. Why hands? Because I want the cupcake to be kind of presented to the viewer um, nicely, kind of like this one right here. So I'm gonna go for this. And you can see it's a little bit um, cropped here. The thumb here is cropped. So I'm gonna double click on this photo and slightly adjust it moving to the right. And this is pretty good. Okay, so now I have this um, base, I would say base color with the nice cupcake photo. I need my call to action. So the call to action, I'm gonna click on my T key on my keyboard to call a text box. My mail call to action is 15% off on all cupcakes. And you know what guys, there is a font in Canva which is called cupcakes. How cool is that? So cupcakes, I'm gonna use this font for this text box, make this bigger. And I'm gonna slightly tweak this because it has a lot of space between the letters, which I don't particularly like. So I'm gonna go for my spacing button and I'm gonna go into the negatives here between the letters, about this much. And same with the lines, like the space between the lines. Okay, and now I can even stretch this further. Let's go for 34 or something. Okay, this is pretty good. So 15% off on all cupcakes and then my call to action. I'm gonna add another text box by hitting the key. Uh, so calling text boxes, the simplest form is always the T key on your keyboard. Just hit that key and the text box appears. If you don't want to do this, you can always go to text and then choose one of the, the three uh, hierarchy of text, I would say here. So I could go for this one. Um, I don't really like to work this way. I prefer the T keys, so easy and, and, and quick. So my second text here says, uh, order now. Of course, you want to sell your cupcakes. 
And for this, I'm going to go for more of a classic. So Montserrat, uh, Montserrat classic. There we go. And I'm going to go for smaller. And of course, I need more space between my letters. Order now, something like that. And let's say all caps as well. Okay, order now, this is good. I'm going to start styling this. Let's say you, you have like this text box and this text box, but you want them to be perfectly centered, like the both of them centered. So you can select them both, go to your position and then center like this. And then Canva will help you center these two elements together. That's a nice little trick. Next, I want to style these uh, text boxes in terms of colors. So adding the right colors for this, select the first one, click on my color button here for the fonts. And you see that Canva uh, suggests here one color palette of five colors taken from the photo. It says photo colors. I really like to use this because it creates this harmony in my designs uh, in terms of colors. So I like this blue and you know the blue is this blue right here from the background. So I'm going to use this blue right here for both my text boxes. So selecting the second one, same blue. Perfect. So this is good already, but I mean, something is missing a little bit of fantasy. Uh, we are selling cupcakes, which is supposed to be fun, supposed to be creative. And this is a little bit bland. So I'm going to show you a trick or a keyword that you can use in Canva to really search for some creative elements and illustrations. So for that, we are going to head over the elements tab right here going to clear this search and we are going to start searching for a digital collage. And the digital collage keyword is going to call um, all of these creative shapes and you know, illustrations that are going to add a little bit of playfulness to your design. So I really like using them. So uh, basically, you just start, you click and you start playing around with this. You know, so I, I like this one, which is kind of cool, but I want them to be on brand still with this color right here. So I'm going to use the red and I like the second kind of crema cream color. So I'm going to keep that reminds me of the skin. So that's fine. Uh, let's keep playing with this. Let's see what we have. Like I like this as well. Maybe I can use something like this here. It kind of looks like the chocolate. Uh, you know, these chocolate thingies you sprinkle over your cupcakes. Yes, this is good. So let's make this chocolate. See if I can. Yeah, I have a brown kind of chocolate color here. That's perfect. I can make it a little bit bigger even. And I can maybe push it back. So push it backwards. Yep, this is good. Uh, I need something over here. Let's see what we have. Like this. So we could use that to kind of separate the photo from the rest of the image. And I'm going to use another color. Well, let's continue with this kind of like uh, dark red. And then one last thing here at the bottom that could add a little bit more fantasy. I like this one, maybe. Yep. And let's recall one more time our chocolate color there. Okay, this looks good. Maybe this one I can find a better way of. All right, this looks good. This looks pretty nice on brand. All I have to do now is to center this. Maybe I can make it slightly bigger and to find the right alignment for it. Okay, 15% off on all cupcakes order now. Well, it seems like we came to something pretty cool, guys. We have our email header. So now all I have to do is to download this in PNG form. That's perfect. All right, so let me open that for you. You see everything looks super nice, super crisp. We have the nice juicy cupcake there. I just want to bite on this one. And we have our call to action order now. So this is ready to be slapped on your email. Uh, that's it for me, guys. I think I covered everything in this tutorial. Don't forget we have new tutorials every week for you to learn with us. Try the techniques that I teach in this tutorial. Show us your design and we will give you a feedback 
uh, and the community will also give you a feedback. So it's a perfect way to improve on your graphic design skills. All right, this was Ronnie with another tutorial. I will see you in the next one.